Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon. And hey, if you're watching this recorded on YouTube, good evening, folks. We are back, and I say hello from our Up Close video series. My name is Drew Santiago, the mayor of Funville, and we're going to take you on a trip to our carnival exclusive private island of Princess Keys, which is one of our up close with these exclusive islands webinar series that we're bringing to you, travel advisor rock stars. I will be joined on the island at some point, my sister from another mista, Chris Schutz, who is our BDM on the East Coast. And she is an absolute riot. And uh, I can't wait to meet up with her. Also, ladies and gentlemen, we want to invite you to join our private Facebook group. It's Carnival Independent Advisor Team Facebook group, which is a perfect community for new or experienced travel advisors to stay connected with each other, help learn more about the brand, and of course, stay connected with the Carnival team. It's a great community to stay in the know with what's going on with Carnival. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's dive into what our up close carnival exclusive private island experience on Princess Keys is all about. And what we're gonna do is walk you through real briefly all of the experiences. Well, I shouldn't say all, some of the experiences that our guests love about this island. Now, if you've not been to Princess Keys, this island is incredible. It's located 60 miles off of the coast of Nassau in the Bahamas. So it's one of the Bahama Islands. And the island is called Eleuthera. And it's this little pencil-shaped island that has a hundred and, I should say, pencil-thin island, not pencil-shaped. I guess that's the same. But it's 120 miles of beautiful, pristine coastline. Probably the best and most gorgeous coastline you'll ever see. Surrounded by clusters of little keys and sandbars, this island truly brings together the Post Guard Perfect uh, slogan to lie. So when people say this is postcard perfect, it's on this island. And it starts with every single opportunity we're going to show you today. So whether you're enjoying a shore excursion or you're just enjoying the beach and doing absolutely nothing and taking it all in, that's what it's all about on this island. So what do you say, ladies and gentlemen, we dive in, but um, I probably should check in with Chris. Chris, have you actually left the ship and gotten to the island yet? Hey, Drew. I just got off the water shuttle and it was a quick 20 minute shuttle here to Love Boat Marina and I am so excited. The weather is absolutely stunning. But before we get started, I want to remind everybody what to bring when you're coming to this beautiful day at the beach. So of course I brought my sunscreen, you know, I, I brought 50 because I burn quite quite easy. I got my carnival beach bag, my carnival towel, and I am ready to start the day here. Now, like I mentioned, Drew, the the shuttle, it's very easy. You just get on board right from our ship, and then it's a 20 minute, 20 minute little shuttle. But what is amazing is there's so many photo ops while you're on the shuttle. It's pretty pretty awesome. Like it's kind of like a little shore excursion of its own. So I absolutely love when I come to Princess Keys. Uh, Drew, what are you, where are you? I'm trying to look, but I can't see you. Oh my goodness. Whoops, I, I fell into the moment and um, wow. You know, one of our guests tell us the first thing they love to do on Princess Keys is snorkeling. Look at this beautiful location. I told you the, the water is absolutely incredible here. And this is hands down one of the most popular activities to do on Princess Keys. Has anyone been to this island? Have you done snorkeling here? Whether you're a beginner or you're an advanced snorkeler. Look, we've got some advanced snorkelers right there. <laughs> 
I almost feel like I'm walking on water. The option to bring your own snorkeling gear or you can rent from the island is there because this is just a great way to cool off. Princess Keys is, is a, an island you can get to year round and there's select voyages that you can get to Princess Keys on. And I'll talk to you a little bit further on in this presentation about how you can uh, leave and what itineraries to see Princess Keys. But this is one that I highly recommend if you just wanted to keep it simple and enjoy the marine life that the island has, this is an optional activity that you'll absolutely love. But there's so much more going on in the island and where Chris has wandered off to, I don't know. Maybe that is what you should do. I like that, wander off. I'm gonna explore a little more. Drew, I did wander off and I may be wandering a little bit slower today because I stayed out a little late and I was at Punchliner Comedy Club. So I'm going to take a stroll through Princess K. There is 1.5 miles of beaches. There's over 3,000 lounge chairs here. There's so much to do. You can stop and you can check out all the local crafts, which, by the way, I definitely already stopped there on my way. And I purchased some of these wood carvings. So I have ha been having a wonderful time. You know, the island is just so picturesque. I was in a hurry to get here this morning, even though I am walking a little bit slower, staying up so late with Punchliner. However, I skipped breakfast because I cannot wait until I have that amazing beach lunch. That's one of my favorite parts about being here at Princess K. Um, once I'm done there, again, I'm going to go shopping and check out all of the local crafts, the crystals, everything. So I hope to see you shopping, Drew. I doubt it. You're too adventurous for that. Oh, yeah. Speaking of adventure, this is exactly my speed. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to get up close and personal with Stingrays. This Stingray Beach encounter, it's an optional shore excursion, but our guests absolutely love it because the water is so pristine and these incredibly docile creatures will interact with the guests whether you're a young youngling a little kid or a big kid or the first mate of fun you've got to get involved with an activity like this it'll really create a lifelong memory and if you do the tour with um, carnival of course you can purchase this on board it's $44.99 You'll definitely want to bring your camera and a towel on this one. And an important thing to note, don't worry about getting wet. Just have fun because there's changing rooms at the facility for you to really get in, or I should say dive in, and enjoy your time with the stingrays. I don't know about you, Chris, but I'm going to go change and hop on in and enjoy this experience. What are you up to? Oh, Drew, that Stingray adventure sounds amazing. But I decided I'm going to try something a little adventurous for myself, and that's the aqua bikes. So this is booked as a shore excursion, and it's for two people. Starts out at $30 for an hour, and it's basically like riding a tricycle on the water. I think that's pretty cool. And at this point, I need a tricycle. So I can't wait because you can see the spectacular views um, right from the beach. So you can see all of Princess Key, like once you're out in the water and just take in all of the turquoise waters. Now I'm definitely needing exercise this cruise because I've had a lot of chocolate melting cake. So Drew, where'd you go to? <laughs> melting chocolate cake. Um, that sounds pretty amazing. And I've got to say, there's a rumor that calories don't count while you're at sea. Is this true? Because if that's what you don't think, and you do believe that that Guy Fieri's burger is something you need to burn off, personally, this is one of my favorite tours. It's the Island Bike Adventure. And what I love to do with this, and our guests have told us that it's a great way to kick off your experience on the island, is this guided tour will take you along uh, a, a, a nice paved path to burn off those calories that you enjoyed yesterday, even though you're probably going to hop right back onto the ship and get another guy's burger as soon as you get back after your experience on the island. But what's great about this one and a half hour guided tour, it's $34.99, but you're guided and you leisurely cruise, like what I did there, 
your scenic bike ride will stop at Mangrove Lagoon. You stop at a place called the Wishing Well. I don't know about you, but the lottery is pretty big over here in my part of the world. So I would like to wish that that ends up in my bank account. But you'll also stop at the ruins at the old packing house. And there's this really cool salt pond that will give you the picture perfect photo, uh, uh, photograph moment. That is what this experience is all about. Now, you know me, love my cycling, and I couldn't not get off the ship and do this tour with my favorite jersey ever, the travel agent rocks cycling jersey, because this is not just the slogan, ladies and gentlemen, we mean it every time we say it. All right, they're calling me. I've got to run off to do this tour. I will catch up with you guys at the next stop. Bye. And Drew, I decided that I'm done with the aqua um, boat. What I'm going to do now is the Hobie cat. Wow, this is the first time. I better put some sunscreen on. Hold on. It's definitely bright out here. Um, but it's a blast. So the Hobie cat, it is, again, booked as one shore excursion. It's three people can fit on this. This is a little more strenuous than the aqua bike. So keep that in mind. Um, and you may need a little bit more experience with this because like I mentioned, the aqua bikes are like big tricycles, but this has where three people can be on it. You can be sailing smoothly through those Princess K waters, um, through the wind in your face. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. This is an hour rental um, and it's a great way to change up your date. This is not something I normally do, but you know what? It's available and I want to try it. So hope you can join me, Drew. Woo! Fish on! <laughs> oh, we got, we got away. Oh, I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, that was at least a 50 pounder for sure, right? I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, I get asked all the time, ladies and gentlemen, can I bring my fishing rod onto the ship so I can fish away from Lido deck? Yeah, the answer is no, that can't happen, but you can fish from Princess Keys. And as an avid fisherman myself, that would be me and my son if we were on this experience, because it's a great way to start off your journey through Princess Keys if you wanna try something a little bit different. Now, I've seen photos of a uh, grouper. I've seen photos of people catching barracuda here. What's great about this tour is it's optional. It's good to watch if people get a fish on, or if you just wanted to try something a little different to really take advantage of the thriving uh, marine life that's out in Princess Keys. Now, everything's catch and release, so it's just fun. But you'll be uh, given a rod, a reel, and you'll also have live bait so it's squid that you can put on so you can catch some fish now what's great about this tour is it's only 39.99 it's two and a half hours so you can do the tour and still have plenty of time to enjoy princess keys the island so i don't know about you chris but i want to do some fishing and do some more exploring where are you at true i'm exhausted <laughs> i think i need to just sit down and relax for a little bit so i've rented myself a clam show it's the perfect opportunity to get out of the sun and get some shade where that's definitely where my husband wants to be. And it's inexpensive, $30. It comes with two chairs and you get the most amazing view of the water at Princess Key. So, you know what? I think I'm gonna have a drink. I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna listen to some music and enjoy the rest of my day. Oh, that sounds amazing. You know, we might run into each other because I just picked up a cocktail myself after a big day of catching the massive kahuna fish that I did. I mean, I didn't get it out of the water, but you saw me with that fish on. Got my drink and wanted to let our guests know and our travel advisors know that you could choose to do nothing on the island. I know we talked about some of the optional tours and what the guests love about Princess Keys, and that was just a handful of some of the options you can do on board. The goal of this series was to get you excited about a carnival exclusive port of call. And hopefully we did that today with you because sometimes people just want to get off the ship, enjoy a beach day and catch up on some Z's and enjoy the sun soaked Caribbean sea.
And that's what you can do here. There's plenty of lounge chairs, free of charge. You can stroll the beach and not do anything at all as far as purchasing a shore excursion. But uh, although we suggested some today, it's a great way to balance out your day is to do a little bit of both. But the views here are absolutely incredible. And hopefully, if you've been to Princess Keys or your clients are going to Princess Keys, what they should be doing is taking photos of their exclusive island experience and tagging you, the travel advisor, on your social media so other friends and family and clients of yours are seeing their experience so they can come back and ask you questions about what that was all about. This has been an incredible experience, but before we head back to the ship, I'm going to relax a little bit on this lounge chair. Well, I'm going to live it up island style. And guess what? I'm getting my own private bungalow. You can see how beautiful these are right here behind me. And they come with so much. Prices start out at $250 and the occupancy is for four people. Now you can add two more people while you're on board the ship for $30 more a person. Of course, these prices are always subject to change, but what do these bungalows come with? They come with a lot. They come with air conditioning. They come with four chairs, two lounge chairs. So, you know, the long sun loungers, they have a private shower. They have a ceiling fan. So if you're sitting outside, not in the air conditioning, and you want to feel that a little bit more of that breeze, they have that. The beach is right there within walking distance. So it's right at your, your fingertips. And you can also get um, assistance and you can get a motorized ride to the bungalows. So I don't know about you, but I am so excited to just enjoy this island style here at Princess Key. Ooh, I'll tell you why. Um, after my lounge chair experience, I'm going to hop over and check you out in that private bungalow. That, in my opinion, is a real cool way to experience the island. Uh, and one thing I wanted to mention that um, I would highly suggest you, you, you make this recommendation to your clients. Um, Chris put it out there at the beginning of the webinar is don't forget that sunscreen. Don't forget the, that hat, that cover uh, from the sun, because when you're out at the beach all day, uh, the last thing your client or you wants to come back to the ship as is a lobster. So save that for the seafood shack on board and enjoy your experience by staying protected from the sun. That's why I got my two fun hat on right here. But ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to highlight um, how you get to Princess Keys real quick with just an overview of some of the departure ports and cruise itineraries that will take you to see this magnificent private island. Now, Princess Keys will mostly be found on cruise itineraries that have either Eastern Caribbean or Bahama cruise itineraries. But as you can see on the screen here, we've got departures from Miami, Port Canaveral. You have departures from Charleston, as well as Baltimore even. All the way up north, you can get down to Princess Keys. You have Sailings from Mobile, Jacksonville, and there's a Galveston sailing. So for those from the South, hey, let's see a new destination. Let's talk this up with our clients to see something different. If you've been sailing out of Galveston previously, the options are there. Princess Keys is a year-round um, port of call, but not for every departure point that you see here on the screen. So the best place to find all this information, of course, is on GoCCL.com, and that's where you'll find... Um, which ships are going, and which itineraries specifically have this magnificent island. The majority of the year-round itineraries are going to leave from Florida ports, and generally in your fall, you're going to find more of the uh, uh, off-the-beaten-path cruise experiences from the ports that are further away from the Bahamas. What we'll do, ladies and gentlemen, is if you're um, watching this recorded or if you're watching this live, we'll put links in the description section of the YouTube recording of all of the marketing assets and how you can find more information about Princess Keys. But before that, I think I wanna get a selfie that's gonna be Instagram worthy before I head back to the ship. See you guys on board. Drew, I am so sad. My day here at Princess Key is over and it has been fantastic. And speaking of selfie, I'm gonna take one, but Drew, I have a situation. I don't want to leave. The only saving grace is that I'm getting back on board Carnival and I'm going to have a great time. So I hope you all enjoyed our day here at Princess Key and you learned all of the fun stuff that's happening. And I can't wait to see you here one day.
Oh yeah, got it. That is the perfect photo. Woo! That is gonna go on social media. So remember, social media, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you follow the Carnival Independent Advisor Team Facebook group and uh, stay connected with our community of travel advisors and of course the Carnival Independent Advisor Team. For us, ladies and gentlemen, I've got my selfie photo here at the most amazing picture perfect spot on the island along this pier out with the beautiful, pristine, gorgeous turquoise waters of the Caribbean. This has been an epic day. In fact, a phenomenal day. And I'm so happy you were here to share it with us. On behalf of myself, Chris Schutz, and all of the Carnival sales team, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for all that you do. Without you, it just would not be fun. And don't you forget, travel agents, Rock!